Hi, my name is Mark Tacna and welcome back to my channel, The Media Nerd. This video, I'm going to show you how to fix an eight millimeter tape when the tape has actually broken and fallen inside. Now, we don't have to take the tape apart like we do with a VHS tape. I'm going to show you a very simple way how to get this tape out of the cassette, what I like to call fishing. Oh, really? Now, why would you want to learn how to repair an eight millimeter tape? Well, this is why. You want to get this tape transferred and you want to use a company like Colorado Springs Video to be able to transfer your tape, but you don't want to pay for the additional cost of getting the tape fixed before the transfer. My company, I charge $10 to fix a tape. So let me show you how to do it. Oh boy! To repair an eight millimeter tape, you need a few things. Plastic transparent tape, mini scissors, a small screwdriver, a fairly large paper clip, and of course the tape. Now, if you watched my how to repair a VHS tape, I'm going to use basically the same method on how to splice this tape. Ooh! So the first thing you wanna do is take a piece of transparent tape. There's a little switch on the side of the tape that you pull to open up the slid. Take your tape and hold the lid back, just like that. Now, there's not a lot of working parts in an eight millimeter tape like there is a VHS tape. There are little screws, but we're not gonna worry about the screws. What we wanna do is get the tape that has fallen inside of the cassette. So you take some scotch tape, just need a little bit, and you take your little mini screwdriver, and like I said, this is what I like to call fishing. So you put the scotch tape on the screwdriver to stick it on one side. And then you're gonna roll it back against itself very gently, just like that, to make it so this sticky side is out. And use your mini scissors or another screwdriver to do this part. But here's a switch here. And the switch is much like the VHS tape, which it allows these to spin, the spools to spin. So you're gonna hold it down just like that. Now this is the fishing part. I'm just gonna reach down in here and I'm gonna touch the spool. Ah, and there it is. It's really that simple. I'm gonna do it to the other side. Reach down, touch that spool, pull up, and there it is. Absolutely perfect, right? Oh, yeah. I got it. I did damage the tape a little bit, but you know, the tape is already damaged. So I'm not gonna worry about it. We do wanna make sure we have enough tape pulled out. So let's get a little bit more. Just so we have plenty to work with. Great. Lay it on the side. Now we're gonna do exactly what we did with the VHS tape. I'm gonna take a little bit of tape, and fold it. This is because we only have two hands and it's so hard to hold on to tape to splice. So I'm gonna put a little sticky side there. I'm gonna make a loop like that. I'm gonna stick it onto the table just like that. Great. Now, Let's make sure that we cut any of the damaged part of the tape off. Go right there. All right. I need a little bit more. I cut a lot of tape out, so let's get a little bit more out.
Now we're gonna just lay it right on the tape, just like that. Oh! There, it's held pretty good. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, making sure I turn it the same way I did. Now, we're gonna line it up by taking your finger, hold the tape, you might have to look over top of it, and you wanna line it up the best you possibly can right over. Lay it down. Look at that, it's perfect. I'm gonna take my scissors, I'm gonna run it to the very tail end and give it a cut. We don't want too much hanging. I wanna splice the other side. Now some people say you only splice the inside or one side of it so you don't damage your eight millimeter player, but this is a one-off and it's really not gonna damage it. I've been doing this for 20 years now and I have not damaged stuff. There we go. Splice number two. Yeah! I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut it away from the table. Make sure that your tape doesn't touch the scotch tape. Cut this off. There, I have a bit left just like that. I wanna trim. And if you cut into the tape, that is okay because you don't want the sticky transparent tape getting under the mechanisms of your player. So if you cut a little into it, that's fine. There, it's really nice. Now I'm gonna take, let's flip it over. This is where your paper clip comes in handy. This is a larger paper clip. I'm gonna sit it in and it's great for being able to get in that spool and turn it. Oh boy! Make sure it goes in nice. Okay. There it is. Ooh. Let's take the scotch tape off and close the lid. Nice, right? Perfect. So that is it. That is how I repair an eight millimeter tape what I like to call fishing. Whoa. Very super simple. Thank you so much for watching today. Make sure to subscribe, like, ring that bell for future notifications. Hey, and maybe even share this video with a friend or two. They may need to learn how to fix an eight millimeter tape. Have a wonderful day.